Hello, everybody. We are back. We are back. It is Friday. It is the final of this week's House of Games. It's been a very, very close one as well. Somebody at the end of today is walking away with this trophy right here. Who is it going to be? Our players for this final time are Jenny Eclair, <laughs> Diane Buswell, Owain Wynne Evans, and what's that on his feet? It's only Adam Jamili. <laughs> Adam, in your sliders there from uh, from Monday. I know. Yeah, it's good. Good socks and sliders as well. I got the all clear from these guys. It's fashion, but this is this is just to say to the others, I'm a champion, right? It's little one percent in the mind, just. Just as you get down, like they used to say, you saying Bolt would beat you, just just getting down in the blocks. Exactly. Oh, Ayn. Should we take a look at the the leaderboards? Oh yes, let's. There's double points today. <laughs> there are eight <laughs> points to win, six <laughs> points for second. Adam Jamili is up the top there. Yes, that's true. Very close, and you know. I've got a fondue set. Which you weren't tempted to wear? Wasn't tempted to wear. I could have just put it here, though, but I thought, no, you know, no one likes a show off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Jenny, you are still in with a shout of winning this trophy as well, mm. just three points off the lead. Mm. What do you think? What can you do today to, to catch these boys? Oh, I, I, do, I know me, I'll plummet. I, I genuinely have had a lovely week. I've really enjoyed myself. And I keep forgetting how badly I'm doing. So that's. You're not good. doing it. You're three points off the lead. Oh, that's all right then, yeah, isn't it? That's Thank not you. bad at all. Um, Diane. Yes. Diane, now listen, the trophy might be mathematically beyond you. But what you can do is win a prize. Because you can exactly, win today. Exactly. I could win today. Yeah. So should we take a look at today's prizes? Please. There <gasps> is the cushion, there's the bread bin, the cologne the oven mitts and the wheelie case. Yeah. What do you think, Diane? I would love to take that wheelie case to Australia with me next time. Oh, that would be mm. nice. It'd be nice to see it go to Australia. Jenny, what would you go for? Oh, definitely the wheelie case. Yeah, yeah. of course, the wheelie case. Owen? Oh, I think it's the wheelie case as well. Uh, what would you go for, Adam? The case, of course. Case, 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 case. Yeah. Four cases and a trophy. Shall we play for the final time? Let's Our first round go. is... Double trouble. Fingers on buzzers. I'm going to show you a letter of the alphabet. Today, your first letter is M. I'm going to ask you two questions at a time. Please only give me the words that begin with the letter M from the answers, OK? Here's your first one. Actor who played Kevin McAllister in Home Alone. And teenage diarist created by Sue Townsend. Yes, Diane. Macaulay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to time you out, though, yeah. I'm afraid, Diane. Mm. Yes, Jenny. Macaulay Mole. Macaulay Mole. That's what we were looking for. Macaulay Culkin and Adrian Mole. Macaulay Mole. Uh, next two. Disguise themed TV music show hosted by Joel Domit. And who is this? Yes, Adam. Masked Mariah. Masked Mariah. The Masked Singer and Mariah Carey. Absolutely, Masked Mariah. Next M's. Band that had a hit with A Design for Life in 1996. And band that had a hit with I Bet You Look Good on the Dance Floor in 2005. That is Owain. Manic Monkeys. Manic Monkeys. This is a good name for a third band. <laughs> it is, isn't Manic it? Manic Street Preachers and Arctic Monkeys. Manic Monkeys. We change the letter now. Just give me the words that begin with H. TV drama starring Sarah Lancashire as police officer Catherine Kaywood. And a football team that plays its home games at the London Stadium in Stratford. Yes, Owain. I was going to say Happy Hoves, but I think Hoves is wrong. Happy Hoves? It is not. Anyone else? Yes, Adam. Happy Ham. Happy Ham. That's exactly what it is. Happy Valley and West Ham United. The H's give you Happy Ham. Next two H's. Children's book by Eric Carle about a creature that turns into a butterfly. And structure on the Colorado River, completed in 1941. Mm. Yes, Adam. Hungry Hoover. Hungry Hoover. It is Hungry Hoover. <laughs> Very hungry caterpillar. And the Hoover Dam. Next letter. No more H's. Instead, T's. So, what are the T's here? ITV Tea Time game show hosted by Ben Shepherd. 
And what are these? Oh, gosh, I know that. I know the second one. Yes, Adam. Is it the thousands? It is not, I'm afraid. It is not, yes, oh, no, I... tip... Tipping thousands. Tipping thousands? Is the correct answer. Oh, no. Tipping point in hundreds of thousands, tipping thousands. Final question in this round. 1981 number one hit by Soft Cell. And dish of bread dipped in beaten egg and pan fried. Yes, Owain. Tipping toast. Tipping toast is incorrect. <laughs> yes, Jenny. Tainted toast. Tainted oh, toast is oh. what we were looking for. Tainted love and French toast. It's the end of our first round, our final first round of the week. Oh, no. And our leaderboard looks like this. <laughs> Diane, you are yet to get off the mark. Owen and Jenny, you have two points each. Adam is in the lead with three points. <laughs> Nicely done, Adam. <laughs> be a good day to win. Our final pairs game of the week is going to be... <laughs> Password one, two, three. Diane, I wonder if you'd like to choose a partner for the final time this week. Well, I haven't um, been paired with Jenny yet, so Lucky me and Jenny girl. must Triumph. be paired together. Yes. <laughs> That's a good idea. Firstly, I'll yes. say you have been paired together before. Have we? But it's did lovely we? to see I'm you paired so together. Oh, we memorable. did. It was, oh, it was day one anyway. Yeah. Uh, Jenny and Diane, you're a team. <laughs> yes. Gentlemen. Adam and Owen, you're a team as well. Now, in this round, all we have to do, it's very simple, we have to guess the internet passwords of various celebrities. OK. Oh. Okay. Let's take a look at the celebrities. So we have Floella Benjamin, Warwick Davis, Justin Bieber and Chaka Khan. Which one would you like to go for first, Jenny and Diane? Oh, you choose, because... Shall we go Justin Bieber? Well, good luck with that. Let's me. try that. We'll go Justin okay. Bieber. Mm. OK, now, Justin Bieber's internet password is a combination of two hints, OK? If you put these two hints together, you'll get his password. It's not his real password legally. I'm always obliged to say that. The two hints are these. In 2020, whose record did you beat when you became the youngest solo artist to have seven US number one albums? And how old were you when you had your first UK top 40 single? Now, you will have three attempts to crack this password. OK. A young solo artist who have seven US number one albums. Was it Ed Sheeran? He's not US, is he? Oh. How old were you when you had your first UK Top 40 single? Probably about 19, 20, or... Or was he even younger? Was he 17? I feel like he was young, yeah. Should we go 17? 17. Could it be Taylor Swift? Oh, yes, let's go with Taylor Swift. Should we go Taylor Swift let's 17? Let's go first Taylor guess. Swift yes. 17. Okay, three guesses, so we're going to go for Taylor Swift 17. Is that Justin Bieber's password? Ooh. It is not. You have neither part correct. Maybe he was 16. Maybe he was 15. Let's go 16. Let's do incremental. And it's not Taylor Swift, so okay. oh, I'm terrible and I have to think on the spot of names. OK. Um, what about Michael one... Jackson? I mean, we could stab at Michael Jackson 16. Let's try Michael Jackson 16. Michael Jackson 16? Mm. Is that Justin Bieber's password? No. no. Okay. It is not. You have neither part correct. Oh, Ooh. so maybe he's 15. Yeah. Because it could be any time, remember? Yeah. Could so, be, could yeah. Be, could be 50s. I'm sorry, I don't know who it is. I, I would have a guess who's the biggest rock star of all time. Well, I'd say Elvis. Should we try Elvis Presley Oh, 15? yeah, let's try Elvis Presley 15. Give it a go? Yeah. What do you think at home on this one? Uh, it's a third attempt, final attempt. Elvis Presley 15, is that Justin Bieber's password? It is <gasps> Elvis wow. 15. Very well done. Oh, we, we like witches. Well. Jenny, we like Jenny worked witches. out the Elvis Amazing. and Diane worked out the 15. Nicely yeah. done. Good team. Yeah, team effort. Owain and Adam, whose password would you like to crack? Oh, gosh. I know Warwick Davis. I don't know the other two, really. I need... And I, I know Shaka Khan. Let's go for Warwick Davis. OK, fine. Yeah. No, Warwick Davis? OK, what is Warwick Davis's internet password? It is a combination of these two hints. Which TV quiz show did you first present in 2016? And what is the last word in the title of the 1983 film in which you played an Ewok called Wicket? So the TV show... Oh, what? I can't, is it ten, untenable? It's a ten, something like that. Let's go for untenable. And what is the last word in the title? So it's Star Wars. Star Wars, yeah. 1983 Star Wars film. I'm assuming it's not wars. 
because there's probably more to it. It'll be Star Wars, da 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 da. Do you think? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I don't, I don't know what the last word would be, to be honest with you, but. Should we try Untenable Wars? Yeah, let's go for it. Untenable Wars, please. Untenable Wars? Is that Warwick Davis's password? Oh. It is not, I'm afraid. You have neither part correct, oh. although you have one part very, very, very nearly right. So it's, it's not, not untenable, it's, un it's something else then. Uh, yeah, I can't think of the name of it. I think you even true. said it, Adam. Tenable. Tenable? So, we think it's tenable, but not wars. Uh, so, it's Star Wars... Je uh, Jedi? Return of the Jedi? Could be. Return of the Jedi. Tenable Jedi? Yeah, I reckon we go Tenable Jedi. So from untenable to tenable and from wars to Jedi. So tenable yeah. Jedi is your second guess. Is that correct? Oh, it is yeah. correct. Oh, well, well done. done. Well done. Great work. You said it's untenable or tenable. Tried them both. Oh, okay. was right. And yeah, Return of the Jedi. Very well played, gents. Uh, we go back now to Diane and Jenny. Would you like Chaka Khan or Dame Floella Benjamin? Well, I know Floella Benjamin better than Chaka Khan. Fantastic. Okay. I don't know either. So let's go... Floella. Flo Floella. Well, the wonderful Floella Benjamin. Mm. Uh, her internet password is a combination of these two hints. You were born on which Caribbean island? And in 2006, you became Chancellor of which university in the southwest of England? Mm, I'm very bad on geography. This is where I'm, I really, really... So, Caribbean islands. I have been on cruise ships, you know. Could be Jamaica. It could be Plymouth. Jamaica Plymouth? Let's try that. Let's try it. We'll get three attempts. It's, yeah. It's a guess. Uh, Jamaica Plymouth is that Florida Benjamin's password. No. No. It is not. You have neither part correct. Oh, oh, neither no. part. Okay, okay, where else is Caribbean? Hmm. <laughs> Is Antigua one of them? Oh, we never mm -hmm. went to that one, but it uh, sounds like it is. Okay. So let's go with Antigua. Is Bristol southwest? Yeah, that would count. Like. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go. What did we say? Um, Antigua, <laughs> Bristol. Antigua, Antigua, Bristol. Antigua, Bristol. Antigua, yeah. Bristol. A great combination. Um, Antigua, Bristol is your second guess. Is that Florida Benjamin's no. password? <laughs> it is not. You still have neither part correct. Is it right? Okay. okay. Um, Bermuda, a part of the Caribbean? Yes. Bermuda, and then another little southwest of England name. Oh, Exeter is a posh one. Is it? Exeter's a good university. That's, you'd want to be Chancellor of Exeter. Bermuda, yeah. Exeter. Let's find out Bermuda, Exeter for your final chance. Is that Florida Benjamin's password? No. It is not. You did get one part correct, though. So, should we see what the answer is? Trinidad, oh, Exeter, oh. we were looking for. Trinidad, Never went Tobago, there on the Exeter. Trinidad, Exeter. Gentlemen, <laughs> uh, Chaka Khan's password is all that detains us from uh, our next round. OK. And you can get it by answering these clues. You were born in which US state? Oh. And in which year did you top the UK singles chart with I Feel For You? Chaka Khan's hits. You're going to know this. Came through the kind of... 80s. Really? I couldn't, uh, honestly, I, I couldn't tell you either. I have no clue. Does she sound like she's from the South? Does she sound like she's from, like, New York? I don't think I've ever heard Shaka Khan speak. How does she sing? Ain't nobody loves me better. Did it better. Makes me feel this way. Mm -hmm. How, what did that sound yeah, like to you? Bit, bit like Chicago. So what state is Chicago? I have so, no idea. shall we say Chicago, Illinois? Illinois. So, Illinois, and then 1981? Yeah. I, 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 I'll, I'll, have, I'll have Adam pretending that he's a Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> no, I back uh, the team, yeah, of course, yeah. I'm going to say Illinois, 81? <laughs> yeah. Is that Chaka Khan's password? Oh. It is not, but you do have one part correct. Wow. Wow. I reckon it's the year. So, let's guess a state, another state, then. Should we try Pennsylvania? Let's try Pennsylvania 1981. OK. Pennsylvania 1981? Yes, is please. Is that Chaka Khan's <laughs> password? <laughs> it is not. And here's an interesting bit of information. We've got no... You now have neither part. So it was Illinois. Oh. There's no way... Oh. There's no way it was Can't Illinois of the first one. OK, so not 81. Let's go for 1980. 80? Yeah. Right. So, so Illinois 1980. Illinois 1980. Illinois 1980? Is that Chucky Khan's password? 
Oh. Oh. Not. Shall we see what it was? Oh, it was the 80s. Oh. About that. Oh, about that. A little bit later. The year I was born. Oh. oh. That's the end of that round. Let's take a look at what it has done to our leaderboard. Diane, you have one. Owen and Jenny, you have three points each. Adam, out in the lead with four. Well played, Adam. <laughs> our next round is. All in the name. Fingers on buzzers, please. All the answers to today's questions are in the letters of your names. Point for a correct answer, two points if you get one based on your name. And the first two questions are in the letters of your name, Jenny. So the answers will be in the letters of Jenny Eclair. And here is your first question. Name that follows I Dream Of in the title of a supernatural 60s sitcom starring Barbara Eden. Yes, Jenny. Jeannie. For two points. Jeannie is correct. Two points for Jenny Claire. Nicely done. Next question. Popular breakfast food made from roasted grain, typically eaten with milk. Yes, Diane. Porridge is not got. It does that not in it. seem. No, there. it doesn't, does it? Anybody else fancy it? Yeah. Yes, Adam. Cereal. Oh yeah. Cereal, well played, Adam. Put you, uh, Diane. The next two are based in your name. Right. They kind of give us an extra N in Diane as well. Oh, every yeah. letter, I have. I've given you every letter N. is useful. <laughs> so generous, babe. Um, here's the first one. Surname of the 46th U.S. president. Yes, that's Adam. Yeah, the sportsman thing. I'm thinking I'll, I'll work this out when I buzz no, in. No, I don't. I, I was going to say time Bush. I was going to say Bush, but no. There's not Bush. Uh, yes, Owen. Biden. Biden. Yeah, it is Biden. Oh, well done. Wow. Nicely done, Biden. Next one. The UK's smallest carnivorous mammal. Yes, Owen. I was going to say bat, but it no. is not. I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, anybody? Let's take a look, shall we? Oh, Weasel. Weasel. Oh, First of all, I've never got go. that. Owen. The so next two. So many letters. Loads of letters for you. Owen wins. I get a vowel. <laughs> I get a constant. <laughs> two points if you can get one of these, one point for anyone else. Tintin's Dog in the comics by Hergé. No one. Snowy. Oh, yeah. Of course Snowy. it's snowy. Of course snowy. it is. Um, next one. The two words that follow your in the title of a 1972 UK hit single by Carly Simon. That is Jenny. So vain. You're so vain. Is your so vain. Um, Adam, the last two are in the letters of your name. Adam Jamili, here's your first one. 2002 UK number one by Nelly and Kelly Rowland. That is Adam. Uh, dilemma. Dilemma? It is. Great song. And final question. Two points for Adam there. Word that precedes rays and the name given to the form of electromagnetic radiation with the shortest wavelength. That is Jenny. Gamma. Gamma? Well played, Jenny. Lovely end to the round. Um, let's take a look at the leaderboard. We've got two rounds to go, two rounds before we give away our trophy. <sighs> okay. Diane, you are Ooh. on one. Owen, you're on four points. Jenny and Adam, seven points each. <laughs> Here we go down. Two rounds to go. Best of luck, one and all. Round four today is going to be. And the answer isn't Jenny. I'm going to start with you. I'm going to ask you a question with four possible answers. One will be correct. The other three were written before the show by Diane, Owen, and Adam. Oh, no. Okay? <laughs> if you get it right, you get a point. If you choose one of theirs, you will give them a point. Okay. Here is your question. During the 1916 Easter Rising in Dublin, why was there a daily ceasefire around St Stephen's Green? So someone could feed the ducks. <laughs> To see all the bunnies in the field come out. School PE class. Or to pick flowers. Oh, I don't believe this. Those are good fake answers, aren't they? Good. Yeah. 
it's a real one in four, uh, that one, isn't I'm it? Really, uh, yeah, I'm not going to waste anybody's time. I'm just going <laughs> to go so someone could feed the ducks. Is the answer so someone could feed the ducks? <gasps> it is! <laughs> well played. Oh, Very well played. Went on instinct. The others, <laughs> to see all the bunnies in the field. It was Diane, the school PE class. I'd have been tempted with that, I think. Uh, Adam and to pick flowers was Owain. Well played, Jenny. Could be a crucial point. Diane. Yes. Question for you. Mm, OK. What is the title of the 1994 debut album by the Swedish band The Cardigans? Is it Love Fool? Is it Backwards is Forwards? Is it Emmerdale? Or is it Knit One, Pearl One? Oh, I'm mm. torn between Love Fall and Backwards is Forwards. It's definitely not Emmerdale. I don't think it's Knit One, Pearl One. Um, oh, do you know what? I'm going to go Backwards is Forwards. Let's find out. Has Diane scored a point or given one away? Is the answer Backwards is Forwards? Oh! Given a point away, what was the correct answer? Emmerdale. No! No way. See, what? Love Fool was one of their songs, so that's someone trying to uh, fool us there. Emmerdale was the Emmerdale. answer. Emmerdale! But you've given away a point to whoever wrote Backwards is Forwards, and that is... Adam! Adam well played, wrote Backwards Adam. is Forwards! Nicely done. I would place every penny I own on Jenny having gone for Knit One, Pearl One. Yes, of course I yeah. did. <laughs> Thinking of knitting a cardigan. Absolutely! Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. That was Jenny <laughs> and Love Fool, which, of course, is a cardigan song, was Owain. Emmerdale is the answer. Well done if you That's said that at home. Clever. Oh, Owen, you have a question now. Okay. Four possible answers. What is the motto of the worshipful company of blacksmiths? Who needs spinach when you have iron? <laughs> By hammer and hand, all arts do stand. Hammer and tongs. For the fire and the steel. For the Fire and the Steel sounds like it could be it, doesn't it? Yeah. But I think it's by Hammer and Hand, All Arts Do Stand. Let's find out. Has Owain just scored a point at a crucial time or given away a point at a crucial time? Is it by Hammer and Hand, All Arts Do Stand? It is, oh, Owain. Well done. Well played. Fantastic <laughs> Very work. nicely done. Um, spinach. <laughs> Diane, there you go. That's uh, unlucky hammer and tongs. Was Adam Brilliant. and for the fire and the steel. I think it nearly <laughs> caught him out there, Jenny. Uh, yeah. Uh, that was Jenny. Adam, last great. question in this round goes to you. OK. The world's most southerly public post office in Port Lockery is affectionately known by what name? Is it Lockie? The Pole Office? South Lock Point or Penguin Post Office? That's a toss-up between the Pole Office and mm. Penguin Post Office. And I can't, I can't remember if penguins are south or north. I'm pretty sure they're south. Uh, if, whoever wrote Penguin Post Office, if it's not that, then, then have a point. Yeah, you're happy yeah. to give them a point. <laughs> have a yeah. point, but I'll go Penguin Post Office. You're going to go Penguin yeah, Post Office. What do you think at home on that one? Is it Penguin Post Office? It is yeah. Penguin nice. Post Office. Well done. Lucky was Jenny, the poll office. It was good, Owain. Oh it was gosh, good. I didn't even know I wrote that. Uh, and South Lock Point <laughs> was Diane. <laughs> One round to go. Let's take a look at our leaderboard, shall we? We're about to find our champion, and here's how we look. Diane, you were on one point. Owain, you have five points. Jenny, you have eight. Adam Jamili, out in front, nine points. Ooh. How about that? It all comes down to one round of... Answer smash. Fingers on buzzers. Point for a correct answer. Point off for an incorrect answer. Very best of luck. Someone is about to become our champion. Mm. Who is it going to be? Your first category is... Insects. Those will be the pictures. There's clues above. Which British comedian is the creator and co-presenter of the TV series Taskmaster? That is Jenny. Alex Hornet. It is Alex Horn and Hornet. Um, next question, next picture. 
Professional Widow, It's Gotta Be Big, was a UK number one in 1997 for which US singer-songwriter? That is Owain. Oh, gosh, one of my best friends is a massive fan of hers. I'm gonna have to time you out, Owain, I'm sorry. afraid. I'm so sorry. Anyone else? Nobody. It's Tori A. Mosquito. Oh, we were looking for Tori. Tori Amos and Mosquito. Next question, next insect. Which TV series first broadcast in 2022 is a prequel to Game of Thrones and stars Matt Smith as Prince Daemon Targaryen? Adam. House of the Dragonfly? Absolutely. House of the Dragon, Dragonfly, House of the Dragonfly. Next category. Street furniture. Ooh. 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 I've got a new. Commonly, the three R's of managing waste in a more sustainable way are reduce, reuse, what? Yes, Owain. Recycle rack. It is. Recycle and cycle rack, recycle rack. Next clue. By what rhyming nickname was Terry Venables known during his time as manager of Barcelona? Oh, yes, no, Diane. Oh, gosh. Kind of regret that. Jerry... Phonebox. I'm... I... Jerry... <laughs> do, you know, do you know it isn't Jerry Phonebox? Anyone else? <laughs> Nobody. We're looking for L Telephone Box. Oh, it was L Tel and Telephone Box. L Telephone Box. Next clue, next picture. Which 2001 film stars Mariah Carey as a young singer venturing into the music business? Nobody. Have you got this at home? Let's take a look at the answer. Glitter bin. Glitter it was, and litter bin. Glitter bin. Oh. Never seen it. Any more categories? <laughs> There we have it. Our oh. quizzing is done. We only have two things left to find out. Who won today and who has won the week. Oh Shall we find out Friday's champion? Yes. Friday's champion on House of Games is... Adam Jamili. Hey. Adam, well done. I tell you what, he put those sliders on at the beginning. He was not going to lose, was he? <laughs> uh, you've won another prize. What are you going to go for? Has to be the case. Oh. Gotta be the weedy luggage. Adam takes the weedy yes. luggage. We have one final task, and that is to give away our trophy. A great week of quizzing. It's been very, very close. And our winner on this week's House of Games is. <gasps> Adam Jamili. Well, well played, Adam. Born a winner. Oh, I can't Nicely it. done, Adam. Congratulations. It's crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm such a fan of the show, and to win it. Well, listen. <laughs> The show is a fan of yours. Thank you all so much. What a lovely week. It's been an absolute it's, pleasure. Uh, it's been yeah. such, a, such yeah. a great Thank time with you guys, everyone. honestly. Congratulations yeah. on your individual wins. Thank you so much for joining us as well on the House of Games. Normally, uh, people, people we have don't have um, trophy cabinets. <laughs> 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 you actually do, so that's... My uh, mum will take this and she'll go, put yeah. it right on the middle of the <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Brilliant.